now, welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 World of Darkness Zombies! <laughs> so guys, we are back here in this awesome, awesome Let's Play where, as you guys know from last episode, we started doing some colonization. It finally happened. Like, now we're starting to, like, colonize everything in here, and we're starting to do all this magical stuff, and it's just awesome. And I'm also starting to build more and more, uh, naval facilities, so I'm trying to look for where, where I can build a naval base anywhere, because, as you guys know, we need to have naval bases all around. The more naval bases we have in our country, the more chance we get more colonial range, which means we can then spread our Americanness all across the world. The faster we can spread our Americanness all across the world. But, anyways, we have a couple of problems. Like, we have, uh, some, uh, problems like the, uh, the money, the money situation. Uh, I'm probably going to have to hide, hide taxes, not particularly much I wanted, but it's just going to have to happen. Hooka hooka. Okay, and with that... With that, we now bring you back to breaking news, where I am sending all my people to the border, because it's time for the war with Mexico. Yes, people, I think our treaty has run out by now. Yes, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure our treaty has run out by now. So, next thing we will be doing is going to war with Mexico to claim back our land and to ensure United States freedom. Because somehow it always comes back to that. And let me make sure that my capitalists are not overstaying their welcome in the places they're in. No, they aren't. Once I reach like 1%, I think that's a little bit too much. And Brazil? I don't even know I was influencing Brazil. Okay, sure, let's let's influence Brazil, even though I don't even know I was influencing them. Okay, and let's... Pause it for a second. Pause it. Wait, Morale Crusaders, pause it. Alright, and do we want any more of that? No. Mm, we could get some more Raiding Doctrine. Hmm. Gosh, if only the... If I really wish... That the uh, capitalists would also build your, um... Mm, excuse me. Would also build your naval bases. That would be kind of cool. A little bit unrealistic in some senses, but I mean... Kind of be cool. <laughs> okay, so let's get that. I mean, it already... It kind of makes sense. I mean, the government would pay... Pay a corporation to, like... You know... Send, you know, like, to build the main part of the base. And then, like, government would go in and, like, make it the private part. The private, like... You know, place. So it would make kind of sense. And apparently, I got a cause belly to gain a place under the sun against the UK. Oh gosh, I have to use it. <laughs> I mean, in a lot of in a lot of situations, I would say going to war with the UK is probably the stupidest idea you can ever do. But considering we're not in the usual Victoria 2, I have to do it. So let me just. Well, first I have to deal with the Haitian nationalists, and this is why I kept an entire army right here was for this exact reason. I should st Oh, no, 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 no. The Resolute Returns! I don't know what that means. Oh, gosh, these these rebels were pretty dang tough. Wow. I've never lost a battle before, but that was the first time I've ever lost a battle. And apparently I'm blocking them from ever going across the other island. That's good. And apparently I'm, I'm spreading my Americanness more. Yay! And more Palmer. So I finally got that land bridge I wanted, so now I got complete another access to over here. And let's see, Para, where was that place? Para's right here, create the protectorate. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> We're just slowly coming in. Just slowly and slowly and slowly. Let's just keep going down, okay? You guys keep your army right here. Let's just keep on coming. And I mean, if I just colonize the entire coast to make sure that no one else can get in, that's still about the same because then I can just, you know, just hold all this land and not really have to deal with Europeans. I can casually and peacefully occupy it when I want to. Alright, and you guys are all combined? Yes? Yes, we have any more men? No. Alright, everyone get to the border of our, of our peaceful neighbors, the Canadians. We're going to go invade them and probably claim... What region do I want to claim? Hmm... I could claim Quebec, and when does this cause bell I run out? 1856, uh, August 19th. So I have to get my troops in position in a couple days. Uh, you guys go attack these guys. Uh, yeah, you guys could be enough. So yeah, there we go. That's what I was expecting the first time. Intervene immediately. Intervene immediately, because I do not want zombies to come into my land. And you guys go chase them. 
Okay, and... Okay. That's as far as I can go, so now I'm just gonna have to see wherever you guys are. Okay, I have one army in position to go fight the UK. Let's go! And apparently France is gonna join in! Let's see, how big is France? You know, I think they could actually pose a threat! And the Ottomans! I think they could also pose a threat too. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be this is gonna be terrible, but UK! You guys are being declared warm because I have a quiet core? What? Oh, seems like I already have a core on them, but I'm going to get a free core on them, and I'm going to take Quebec. Yes, I'm going to take the great, the great city of Quebec with Montreal and all that from the Canadians. Let's do it. Move in! Oh, gosh, I hope none of my Canadian fans are going to be mad at me for this. Uh, but that's just the way things go, and there's the first only and probably only British army I'm going to see for a very long time. Uh, the Battle of Port-au-Prince. A Proton Prince, I should say, just ended in me losing, and those Haitians are actually putting up a good fight. And I still see no gigantic army to speak of, so I'm assuming that this is just going to be a steamroll. You guys go that way, you guys go up there, you guys go join, I guess, these guys, let's see. Five, three, that's a really imbalanced army, I'm just going to say that now, so maybe it's this army. Yeah, five, six, I think it's this army, so go right there there. You guys go right there. Okay, you guys go right there. Just start crushing whatever you can. I mean, you really don't have to be, like, severely doing anything, and I just confused that army, and they just all died. And I feel like there's a couple of good men right here. I'm gonna go crush them so they don't do anything. The Battle of Bali. Do they actually have a real army next to me? No way. They cannot have an actual army. Okay, there's some zombies over here. Go kill the zombies. Okay, and is there any more colonial range I can do? No, there is not. Uh, go crush the rest of these rebels now that we got enough control over my land. Uh, go this way. Okay, you guys go right there. It does look like that's gonna lose, but I'm gonna go send in this many troops to go help them. That was, they were just bait men. That way they could just help me keep the men right there so that bigger army could come in and go stomp them out. So let's see, let's pause it. Let's see, I am at war with everyone, right? Yes, I am. But... <laughs> oh, gosh. The rest of the world, man. This has now become a campaign of the U.S. versus the world. And the world is going to probably lose. I mean, I basically become Adolf... If I really want to, I could become Adolf Hitler, and no one could stop me. I mean, there would be no... There, essentially, there'd be no American saving, saving uh, the world from this time. Or no Joseph Stalin to be saving the world. It doesn't even matter either way. <laughs> I'm just way too powerful right now. I'm gonna keep moving in though. Because, you know, you never know. Sometimes the British could possibly raise up an army in Canada. Which would be very shocking to me. But they could possibly raise up an army. They are trying to gather an army. So it does show that they are committed to the idea of building up an army. But will they build up an army? Probably not. Okay, move in. Move in. Just keep moving in. Okay, and we're almost to Quebecois City. I mean, the last time Ameri the last time American was trying to invade Canada, it did not end well. So mm, I'm glad that this event right here is going swimmingly. We are not having any difficulties whatsoever. Okay, pause it. Thank you. Okay, you guys move in right there. Let's see. Have they reached any places? They aren't on any borders. Let me make sure they aren't on any borders or anything. Probably should conquer this and that when I'm in this war, but meh. Okay, you guys create the protectorate right there. You guys create the protectorate right there. Okay. Well, that was a big chunk of land. Sheesh. Okay. That was a big chunk of land. So, let's just keep moving on. From there, we're going to create another protectorate right here on the coast. Okay, and then from here, we're also going to create another protectorate right there. And, yeah, we're just... <laughs> Okay, that, the expansion is going pretty good. Over here, I'll put some more soldiers right over there on the border. You guys go down here. Actually, you guys go up there. You guys go down here. And let's go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And we have conquered the legendary city of Quebecois. Oui, monsieur. I feel like this is the greatest day of the American, of the American Union. We have finally conquered Quebec. Finally, everyone, just finally. And oh my goodness, you guys are not gonna give up, are you? I'm gonna have, I'm good, I'm gonna have, you guys are gonna be my troubled state, aren't you? 
You guys are just not going to give up until until I just like give you guys what you guys want. Well, guess what? I have 18k troops over there, and until you guys have an army bigger than 18k, I don't think you guys are going to gain your guys' independence. Alright, you guys go right there. Just keep conquering everything we need. Apparently, I'm going bankrupt, but I really don't care. I, I don't know who... I don't know of anyone who would want to enforce debts on the Americans right now. I think that'd be really quite a stupid idea. So, I'm really worried. And I don't think the zombies are going to come in and say like... <laughs> which is Zombinese for... Uh, I You need to pay your debts, because... Zombies aren't usually... Or are known for their... Are not known for their wits, so... Yeah. Okay, let's just move in right there. Britain, are you about done? <laughs> Cause I, I think I've I've won. I, I've I've basically destroyed the entire region. This this is now mine. And are you guys about ready to submit the def submit defeat? Let's see. No, you guys have a three power, and you guys are still gonna fight me, even though you guys know I'm gonna win. You guys are idiots. I'm just gonna say that now. Whatever government that's in power right now, you guys obviously should not have survived the zombie apocalypse. Except you guys actually are kind of smart. Okay, I'm gonna keep increasing opinion with. Actually, I do need Colombia on my side because I actually do need them to be a part of my empire. Even though technically they're now just a tribe and not really an empire of any sorts, they still should be included in this because you know e equality. And is there any other place I can kind of colonize while I'm doing this? No, doesn't seem like it's letting me. Except for this little island of Trinidad. I'm calling recolonizing Trinidad. All right, let's go down here. Oh gosh, this is going to take a long time. Let's just keep conquering all this. Let's keep conquering all that. My armies have basically conquered all of this. Let's go squash that last little army over there. Just to make sure they do not cause any more trouble. Lazy Navy, you'll learn how to adapt. And just go squash this army. There we go. Go back over here. You guys are done. I guess go up here to the north. And let's see, they're moving in right there, so I'm just gonna go send an army to go deal with that. Because I definitely don't want them to, uh, you know, conquer one of my states, because that could definitely cause a lot of, you know, anger on my part. So I'm just going to go like this, and then just go right there. That should be able to kill that army. Any other armies that are gonna have to be deadly and gonna have to be dealt with? Nope! Okay, back to the war. Okay, let's see. So we got all this. Not gonna let me on to that, so I'm just gonna keep conquering all of, you know, Canada. I mean, honestly, this is like almost all the land. You would think this would give me a lot, a ton of war score. And let's see. Fonts, you guys are the war leader. Would you guys be willing to give me what I want? No. That means I'm probably gonna have to actually go send an army to go conquer the last little remnants of France. Uh, and oh my goodness, Spain! How does Spain always do that? Like seriously, they always just like you always think they're down and out for the count, but somehow they always come back. It's just like what? Uh, I I don't know. It seems like I, I guess I guess the thing to take away from this is that in the zombie apocalypse, the Spanish government would instantly recover. So yeah, good for them. And I'm just slowly colonizing all around here. Oh gosh, I'm also fleeing some of these like ex-slavery places and I still need to get some more. We actually do need to work on our army a little bit, even though it's not necessarily the most important thing. I still would like to keep a well-balanced army. And over here, get some more soldiers over there. There we go. Wickedness stamped out. Wahahaha. And factory efficiency, that's good. We need more factory efficiency. Okay, go, because otherwise everything's going to be bad and grumble, grumble, grumble. Okay, Colombia, you guys should become my sphere of influence because I need you guys to walk through land. That's really the only reason why I need you guys. In fact, that's the only reason why you guys are still alive. And the Chinese Civil War is happening. How is that working out? Like, seriously. Um. Okay. This is a very interesting Chinese Civil War, so I, I, I guess it's like safe zone versus safe zone. And like one safe zone didn't like the rule of like being owned by another safe zone. I, I, I guess it's that, that seems like what it is. Like honestly, that, that seems like what it is. I'm going to load up my army right now to go into the ships. 
and bustling trade unions or great light to practices or the poor strata whatever. The poor are definitely very important to my country. And I'm going to now go kill gonna go kill Fonks. Hopefully though, I'm going to have to support my my military. I'm gonna have to support my ships for a little bit, because this is the first time I'm actually gonna have to do that. And apparently I'm going to be able to colonize the rest of this place, which is great. So let's get that. Yeah! More America! And liberty shines in the workplaces and mills of our country, the free people of America! Free people of America, remember that! Have many daily discoveries and adventures, like the discovery that we do not have any zombies in our land. So I'm going to be taking the research, because I don't really need prestige right now. I'm the most prestigious nation in the world. In the world. Okay, I'm going to keep colonizing though, because that's something we should keep doing. And my ships are also going to travel across the map, travel across the Atlantic Sea. Let's just watch them. Okay, let's see. Is there any other important technology I'm going to need? I'm going to need telegraph. And you guys should be done. I'm going to move one guy over there. You guys move over there. You guys move over there. Hey, Quebecois nationalists, stop that. I'm already trying to make you guys a part of a glorious nation. You guys don't need to form your own nation. Okay? Okay. Just want you guys to understand that. You guys are already going to be a part of a great nation, so don't try to form your own. I'm being serious. Don't try to form your own. Okay, I just want to see battle. Kick whatever army that has not died yet and go put them onto the only provinces of France or France that are still alive right now. Okay. And now, since I'm going to just start conquering all of France, this seems, now this just seems kind of mean. I mean, these guys aren't even organized right now, and I'm just like taking them over. Okay, you guys just dock up right here. I mean, this is this is like completely mean on all levels. I'm just like conquering them with no regard for what they think. And let's go right there. Okay, go right there, I guess. Okay, I don't know where that's leading, but okay. You guys go right. I'm trying to get to this place. 80 colonial power. Apparently, I have way too much non colonial power right now. That kind of stinks. I was hoping that I did not have that much colonial power because I want to keep expanding. America, South. American, South. Am <laughs> what? That title is not. does not make any sense. America, South America. American, South America. Uh, okay, maybe it does make a little bit of sense, but. No, <laughs> just no. And let's see. Oh gosh, Sweden, you guys recovered really quickly. So did Prussia. Gosh dang. Okay, and I've just like taken over some of them, and I'm just gonna go straight into the French capital. Just through all this hostile land, straight into the French capital that has probably been sieged down. Because they pretty much made me mad, and I'm just gonna teach them don't mess with me. I have an army. Okay, there we go. Took over the capital. Does that now count as the fact that you guys will now admit defeat? Do you guys admit defeat? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for seeing the reasonable light that we give off as Americans. So, we now own quick Quebecois. Wow, that is looking really quite bad. <laughs> okay, so that looks really quite terrible. But, uh, we do own Quebecois now. And it can now become a state. So instantly, Quebecois becomes a state of the Magical Union of America. And I'm going to start putting all you guys in specific places so that we can start gutting our country. You guys will be the New Orleans Band. You guys will be the California Band. And, oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, it looks, it looks so bad in terms of borders. I'm now going to need to like, let's see, I'm going to now need to take over New Brunswick and Newfoundland to make this all look right in America. Cause that just looks weird. Like seriously, that looks seriously weird. Oh gosh, and now I'm gonna have to fix my money situation. And look, how many factories closed down? Only a fabric factory closed down. That's just, that's not too bad. We could have had an entire economy closed down, so and I mostly paid myself loans, so you know what? That doesn't this isn't really a big deal right now, and I can actually stop supporting my military. Actually wait, we can still support our uh, shipping lines just for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna need to get my ships back. Gonna need to get my main army back home for South America. Okay, you guys get back on the ships. Okay. And apparently Europe is starting to recover. I'm really 
Prussia, like, I'm really starting to be happy with these guys. Like, Prussia's starting to really expand. Um, in fact, they stopped expanding after a certain point, and some of, like, okay, so it seems like this mod does not completely destroy, like, all the countries. Like, it seems like the countries still retain some of their, um, old, uh, nationalism. So that's pretty cool. So, Basically, after this mod, so basically after this world ends, you basically have this gigantic like colonial race with almost everyone, and it's still kind of a competition because you still have to kind of deal with some of the big world powers. And yeah, oh, that's really interesting. And yeah, it's time for us to end the episode, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.